Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Easter egg rolls. That's right, there are no eggs in egg rolls, which makes the name one of our great culinary mysteries. So if you were hoping to see egg rolls made from Easter eggs, that is not happening. But what I hope will happen is that you use some of your leftover Easter ham to make these egg rolls. Or if times are tough, just get some deli ham and serve these for Easter. But either way, to get started, we'll do a little bit of vegetable prep. And while I show you this, I'll explain why you might not have to do it. But anyway, I'm going to take a couple inch section of carrot, which is round, and cut a slice from the edge so we can lay it flat, which makes it a lot safer and easier to make like eighth inch cuts. And once we slice in about half to two thirds of the way, we will turn it onto the larger flat side and continue our slices. And when it gets too small to safely cut, we'll just eat the rest. And that's it. Once our carrot is cut like that, we will simply stack up two or three of these pieces at a time and then slice every eighth inch or so to make beautiful, almost perfect matchsticks. And no, they absolutely do not have to be perfect, which is good because they won't be. So that's how we'll do our carrot. And then as far as the cabbage goes, we'll take a half a small head and we will trim out the core with a couple angled cuts at the bottom, except hold on, these carrot shreds are bugging me. There we go. But anyway, once we remove the core, we will lay that flat side down and we will cut this nice and thinly, or at least that's how I'm gonna do it, since I like my veggies to be tender in an egg roll and not crunchy. So if you want more of a bite, you can cut this a little thicker. And then once sliced, I do like to cut everything in half so those pieces aren't so long. Oh, and the reason you might not have to do this is because pretty much every grocery store now sells a pre-made coleslaw mix. And if you wanna save time and use that, go ahead. But doing it yourself is definitely better and only takes a couple minutes. And then besides the carrot and cabbage, we'll also slice up some green onions, which a lot of people like to cut the long way, but sometimes they're kind of fibrous, so I do prefer this cross cut. And then last but not least, I'm gonna take some mushroom caps that I've removed the stem from, and we'll slice those up nice and thin. And yes, using dried soaked mushrooms is very traditional in egg rolls, but for this version, I'm gonna go with the fresh. And that's it, once our veggies are prepped, we'll head to the stove where we're gonna sizzle some minced up garlic and ginger and a little bit of oil set over medium high heat. And we really don't want this to brown, so we're only gonna give it about 30 seconds, at which point we'll add our sliced vegetables and we'll give everything a quick mix, which I started doing with this spoonula, but for veggies cut like this, I think tongs are gonna do a better job. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop and grab those. But before I do, I'm gonna to toss in a nice big pinch of salt. And then as promised, I'm gonna go ahead and work this over with my tongs. And then what we'll do is cook this for about a minute or two, or just until those veggies soften up and kind of slump in the pan and get sort of steamy, which to me should look something like this. And once that's been accomplished, I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple teaspoons of sesame oil, as well as a couple tablespoons of oyster sauce which yes, yeah, should ideally be made with oysters. So check the label. And then once those are in, we'll give everything a quick but thorough stir, at which point we'll reduce our heat to medium low. And we will add the last main ingredient, which is a couple ounces of rice vermicelli noodles. And yes, I do like to add these uncooked, which is highly unusual, not to mention controversial. Okay, traditionally, these would be briefly cooked first, but what I like to do is add them uncooked like this, and then use my tongs to mix them into that hot, wet vegetable mixture. And it does take a few seconds for those to start loosening up and absorbing moisture. But once they do start to separate, they're fairly easy to mix in. And the reason I don't cook them first is because that way they're gonna soak up water. Whereas with my method, they're soaking in all the flavorful juices from this veggie mixture. And not only that, but because they weren't pre-cooked, they're gonna continue to soak in moisture. And as any egg roll master will tell you, Excess moisture in the veggies is the most common cause for bad egg rolls. And don't worry if you have a few spots where the noodles aren't separated. Okay, this is gonna get mixed again. And also we can do some fine tuning when we fill our wrappers. But anyway, we'll mix everything together until it looks like this. At which point we'll pull that off the heat and transfer it into a bowl. And we'll add the rest of our ingredients, including some nice green peas. And I was hoping the market had some beautiful snow peas, which they didn't which would have been perfect to cut into matchsticks and add into this. But the green peas looked and tasted fine. 
And that's it. We can now go ahead and slice up some holiday ham, which I did not have since it's not Easter yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and slice up some deli ham like this. And by the way, people selling ham, please stop writing uncured ham on the package. Since if it's uncured, it ain't ham, it's pork. And just to be safe, I tasted a couple pieces and verified, yes, it was actually ham. But anyway, we'll slice that into like quarter inch pieces and add it to our filling mixture. And then before I gave this the final mix, I decided to add a little bit of cayenne and freshly ground black pepper. And by decided to, I mean remember to, since I usually just add that when I add the salt. But anyway, no harm, no foul. And as long as it gets in there, nobody cares when. And that's it. As soon as we give this a thorough mix, it's basically ready to use. And if you're wanting egg rolls like right now, go ahead and start rolling them up. But I do think the filling benefits if we wrap it up and pop it in the fridge for a few hours, just to give time for those flavors to mingle and for that vermicelli to continue soaking in any excess moisture. But either way, once we're ready to roll, we're going to need some of these, which are large square egg roll wrappers, which are sometimes sold as spring roll wrappers. And these are about six and a half inches, which I think is the perfect size. And as usual, while we work, we'll want to have a damp paper towel over the top so they don't dry out. And what we'll do for each roll is take one of these wrappers and position it like a diamond. And then before we fill these, we'll go ahead and paint the edges with some egg wash, which is simply a beaten egg with a teaspoon of water. And some people do the whole surface, but I think like an inch around the outside is more than enough. Oh, and yes, I guess we lied when we said there's no egg in egg rolls, since technically now there is. And once that's been painted on as shown, we'll go ahead and transfer on one third cup of filling, centered on the bottom third of our wrapper. And I know it looks like a lot, but it's not. It's the perfect amount. Okay, an underfilled egg roll is an evil egg roll. And then what we'll do is take the point at the bottom and fold it over the top. And we'll make sure our filling is nice and evenly positioned. And then we'll give this one roll before folding in the sides. And once our filling is covered and our sides are pretty straight, we will finish the roll. And once it's completed, we will want that pointy end of the wrapper on the bottom. And that's it. One perfectly rolled egg roll. Or at least close enough for me. All right, so let me show you that one more time. Except this one will do a little bit better. And by that, I mean we'll give it a little bit of an extra roll before we fold in the sides. Okay, it's very key that the filling is covered with wrapper before you finish rolling this up. And also, make sure you get your sides nice and straight, if not angled slightly towards the middle, which is going to allow you to roll this up into a nice neat package. And just like the first one, we will end up with the point at the bottom. Oh, and if anything falls out, you get to eat that. And once these are rolled, they are ready to fry. Although you can, if you want, wrap these up and pop them in the fridge until you are ready. Okay, I do prefer to fry these fresh, but you can make them ahead, like even up to the night before. But anyway, I'm starving, so I'm going to fry up four, which I'm going to do in about an inch of 350 degree oil. And at that temperature, these are going to take about four to five minutes to cook. And I'm not really sure if it matters, but I do like to start with the seam side down. But anyway, like I said, we'll fry those for about four minutes, which we could certainly do by giving the first side two minutes and then flipping it over and then giving the second side two minutes. But the method I prefer is to just let them fry for one minute and then flip them over and then give the other side one minute. And then I like to repeat the process and flip them over again and let them fry for a minute and then flip them one last time for the final minute. And I just feel like that works better when you're doing sort of a shallow fry like this. I think they tend to cook a little more evenly and there's less of a chance those wrappers are gonna get dark spots where they're touching the bottom of the pan. So that's my method, which is going to require a few extra turns. And of course, if you're using an actual deep fryer, and these are fully submerged in your hot oil, you won't have to worry about that. But in any event, we'll cook those for about four minutes, at which point our egg rolls should be heated through and beautifully browned and blistered. And once they are, we'll remove those to a paper towel lined plate, and we will let those drain and cool for a couple minutes before we dig in. And yes, those are gorgeous, and they look very, very crispy. But you know what? We better check. Oh yeah, fork don't lie. So they look great, and they sound great. So let's go ahead and grab one and cut it in half, so we can make sure they taste right. 
And as I hope you can see, we've achieved what I think is the perfect exterior, which means it's very crispy and crunchy, but also very, very thin. And for me, that is the perfect combination. So the texture was amazing, as was the flavor. Okay, I know ham is not a traditional filling for egg rolls, but that sweet, salty, savory flavor profile is absolutely perfect with those vegetables. So if you actually do end up with some leftover Easter ham, I could not think of a better use for it than these. And besides the taste, texture, and appearance being perfect, I thought we nailed the perfect ratio between meat and vegetable in our vermicelli, which as promised, did a perfect job of sucking up any excess moisture, which is one of the big reasons these do come out so well. So I could not have loved that anymore. And that was without any kind of a dipping sauce. So after that one, I plated up the rest properly with a beautiful hot and sweet mustard sauce. Because ham. And as fantastic as that first one was served as is, these were even better. And while I think this sweet and hot mustard sauce makes a lot of sense here, you could certainly do it with something more traditional, like a hoisin sauce or a plum sauce or a sweet and sour sauce or even a non-sweet Chinese style hot mustard sauce. So as usual, how you serve these is gonna be up to you. I mean, you are after all the Dave Grohl of your Easter egg roll, but no matter what you dip these into, a properly made egg roll is never not an incredible thing to eat, which is why I really do hope you give these a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.